So what we're going to do now is we're going to be rigging the glider. Have a look to see how that all works. The, the control connections for the uh, ALO and air brake and elevator, and um, there's five of them in your glider. I'll show you where they are. But um, we have uh, we have uh, requirements set by the GFA to lubricate these hotelier balls, and we have to do them every 50 hours of service uh, each time you rig the glider or six month intervals. So now that we've done it, there's no sense doing it again in June. So we'll actually. Like yeah, sign off. This has been done, and yep. then we'll enter it again for six, six months, months past, from this date. Past this yeah, date. right. It's all good. Um, so yeah, so in here we have and 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 you well you got the coupling and the ball. So um, when we want to connect it, we simply depress the wedge, and um, oh well, shall we go through the the cleaning first? So yeah, um, before we rig it, sure. and and when we have to do this, you clean the coupling and the ball. So I just get uh, a bit of rag, you know scrunch it up in there mm -hmm. and you know just by simply turning the rag in there you can you can give it a clean um, so that's looking a lot better bearing in mind this has probably got a bit of old grease in there because it's sure, been sitting in the cupboard for 10 demo. years yeah yep and then same with the ball that'll be on the end of the rod in the wing mm -hmm. so before we put the wing inside the fuselage or you know you can do it once it's in there is just uh, give it a little clean get all the grease and the stuff off and then with your tub of grease when we go to rig the glider or, or do this mm -hmm. so you don't need an excessive amount just enough on the ball something mm -hmm. like that yep. and then um, I just normally wipe a bit in the coupling because once sure. you when you put the ball in it it spreads it yeah. around so then when we go to go to connect it um, depress the wedge fully and then and then it'll slide on like that and, and the wedge will come back up and it's perfectly normal for it not to come all the way up but the thing that we need to see is that hole through there and um, you'll notice in the fuselage on this push rod is, is, a, is a, a, a little R clip and what we need to do is put that R clip through the hole. Every time you rig it, you do an independent control check. So, so you'll rig the glider, say, yep. and then you'll get someone else to come along. And what they need to do is make sure that each one of these is connected properly and, and that the safety clip is in. Because, I mean, you know, you'd have to be a bit silly, but, you know. Yeah, you know, but you could have it in that position. Yeah, so, or, right. some, or something. But, Anything could happen. Yeah, yeah. Now, on the, on the tail plane, mm -hmm. if I sneak in sure. here, here, on the tail plane, we put one of these on the hotelier coupling mm -hmm. and we can put them on everywhere if you like mm -hmm. and these simply replace the R clip so all you do when you rig the tail plane is is print oh no I've cut this leg back a bit so sure. it's a bit easier but yeah that leg it's a bit easier with the cutback leg needs to go in through the through the safety hole and you can see with it in we can't you can't press that wedge yeah, down right. meaning that that we can't disengage mm. that. So then when you want to de rig it, you simply just pull that back mm -hmm. and then roll it out of the way and you can press the wedge and, and then but, I mean, if you're gonna be doing a lot of rigging and de rigging yeah. I would recommend going to this. It's not yeah. a very expensive option yeah. that makes life a lot easier because you know you're trying to work with the clip sure. and it's dark and you can't see where is this yeah. this, you just go, oh now I need to rotate it and just put it in the oh, hole. Yeah. Um, you just have to be careful because you know you, you might feel like you've got it in mm. but it's not actually through that hole mm. so yeah so you always just want to check by depressing that yeah, lever right and yeah but and yeah if you've got it in the hole where it needs to be um, and you try and depress the lever you you, you can't Good. so so yeah that was the only thing to know Good. Um, now uh, rigging the glider, we do a bit of prepping. I'm going to get Mark to come and give us a hand to take the canopy off. Mm -hmm. Normally you don't have to take it off, but because we'll be walking around it a bit, and sure. it's better to... This For is the too, demonstration yeah, this purposes. Is too expensive to, to, yeah. to break. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, the easiest way to get them off is to get someone else there, and they yep. hold it like so, yep. unhook the little clip, yep. and then say your canopy, Mark, yep. and just pull the lever, Okay. And then um, and then putting it on. Oh. Yeah. 
So um, the easiest way I've found is you just put it in the holes. Mm -hmm. um, don't worry about the lever. Yep. Shut it. Oop. Shut it all the, all the way. And then just reach through yep. and just pull the lever and it'll just fall into the spots. Yeah. And then make sure that's all the way forward. Yeah. And then the first thing you need to do is when you open it, be careful and just give it a wiggle to make sure that you've got both of those lugs. Sure. And then the next never thing is never, never, of never course. forget that because yeah, if, yeah. You, if you forget about that and just swing it open like normal, yeah, she'll just uh, break the hinges. Yeah. yeah. So probably the canopy. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, so clip off. Someone else got it. Your canopy, and then you pull that canopy. And away it goes. Oh, if you so, uh, prepping the glider for reading, so of course you want to go around and give everything a, a good clean. So um, I've already, I already did this for you, but yeah, I just, okay. you know, stuff the rag in there. Yep. You know, give it a bit of a turn, and then and then pull him out and and clean all of them. Yep. Nice. Um, the next one. This is a hotelier. Yep, so coupling yeah. and ball. So we coupling want to, and ball. So we yeah. want to clean and grease both of them. Nice. Um, so a little bit of grease on the finger. A little bit there. of grease. Yeah. You know, just give it a whoosh around in there. Yep. Um, the water ballast seal. Okay. Um, these are brand new seals, so they should be good for a long time. But yeah, I always just give it a bit of a bit of a grease to yep. help. Nice. Some people use Vaseline, you know, it's yep. entirely your, sure. your call. Um, same again. And the grease that you you use for this is a particular grease. Is um, it? Yep, and I'm sure that we can that we can arrange a little tub for you. It's mm. actually an Aeroshell, or you can find it. But I mean, sure. Um, yeah, Aeroshell Six. Okay. It's just a general purpose grease, sure. and for the temperatures and the yeah. and the, the range that we work at, that does everything. Yeah, so, right. So yeah, it's perfect. Good all round. So if I can get in there without having too many arms. Yeah, so, so you go for it. So say. Oh, yeah, so yeah, so just a little oh, bit yeah. of grease, just wipe it yeah, just like into there. Before. Yep, yeah. and do that to all four of them in here. Yep. And I mean, we're going to put grease on the ball as well. So yeah. So you know, if we do both ends, if one's a little bit not greased, then we'll yeah. pick that up with the other one. So. Yeah. Um, yep. So, so I don't know if I'm pointing this in that, the right direction, that's but right. I figure that that might be uh, you get the idea. Yep. You can see, yep. so we got, this is the aileron, so one, yep. one here, yep. and one there, yep. one, and, then, two, and yep. then the air breaker down here, oh, yep. three, yep. three, and four. And four, right, so, so air brakes forward, yep. yeah, cool. Oh. So what, what goes in there is, is the lift pin, and then, so I would call this the cross tube. So The cross tube? Yep, cross yeah, tube, right cross, up. cross the fuselage. Okay. So, yeah, cool. so, yeah, so, loop. so the lift pin goes in the cross tube? Yep, yep. Okay. Um, so I'll just do the same. Sure. Same to this side. All right. So nice. Same, same. Uh, this one works at 90 degrees. Yep. So, but same thing. Um, it's got the same spring clip. Depress the wedge. Put the ball in. Put the clip through. Sure. Again, re-grease. Yep. Just, you know, a bit of grease yeah. in there. Yeah. Um, these pins here. So, same again. Once you take them off, they'll be a bit dirty and horrible. Sure. So, just a bit of a clean. Yep. And this one here too. Um, and then, yeah, just once again, no need to go absolutely bananas, no. but just, just a bit Enough of grease. to lubricate it. Yeah. That's the idea. And uh, that is, uh, um, yeah, so this particular part, what, what is uh, that component? We'd call that the T-plate. The T-plate. Yep. So, and, um, and then you've got the nut here. Yep. When we do it up, and that, in, and that, actually, that thread actually goes into here. So, oh, right. So it holds everything yeah, together. So you'll have yeah, the, three, right. the three points. Okay. Now, um, one thing to note is if you go, let me just double check before I say this. Sure. Trip 44 will push the rod it up does. higher. Yes, it so did. So that makes life a little bit easier when you're okay. trying to do the, trying to do yeah, the coupling. Yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah, so nice. full, full trim forward. Yep, brings the rod up. Yep. Oh. Here we are. Okay, so this is, this is um, how, how the wing locks on mm -hmm. so um so we've got well here it is here through it is. The, uh, the the pin that goes through through uh yep tube yep the, so yeah so the, the the lift pin goes into the into the cross tube, the cross tube. now um this is in the unlock state as per the picture yep. so you can see the pin is on the outside of this race here yep. so and to unlock it we just push it back and rotate it 
Yeah. So we can see it's unlocked. Now, when yep. we want to put the wings on, all four, so we've got one here, one here, yep. and then in through the hole, we've got three and four here. So we need yep. to make sure oh, that yeah. they're all unlocked, yeah. ready to receive the wing. Yes. Um, and then when we, when the, when the lift pin goes in, mm -hmm. um, hang on. Uh, yeah, no, 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 that's okay. Yeah, when the lift pin goes in, yep. we want to rotate this around until it falls into the groove, yep. and then rotate that around, and that'll lock, that'll lock the wing in. Yeah, right. And as per the picture, which I've, that pin is not allowed to be within five millimeters of the end, or where the edge of this, or where the edge of this is. So here, right. so you have to have five. The pin has to be somewhere in, the, in between here. Yep. Five millimeters away from there, yep. and five mil away from there. So you know, yeah, if the right. pin, if the pin's here, it's it's all good. Yeah. Um, so these are exactly as as they've been de reed sure. So you, you can see all the old remnant grease in here. So yep. all we want to do is just give everything a good clean. Yep. And that's all being greased up anyway from yeah uh, just recently. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So so mm. that's fine. And same with this one here. I'll just put that sure, for sure. a minute. Just. Uh, you know, trying to get get the rem, remnant grease off there. A clean of all all the all the fittings and the water we've got the water ballast one here, so yep. just a wipe of that and the other the front lift pin. Yep. So just give them a clean. Every time you, you rig it, yep. um, you've got to pop your grease on there. And, yep, and yep. it's especially important, say, if you've outlanded yep. and, um, and, you've, and you've just de-rigged and put it in the trailer like that. You see how there's yeah. heaps of remnant yeah, grease. Dust. Drive around, dust everywhere. Yeah. So you're always, always a good practice to get into yeah, right. whatever you're rigging or de-rigging. Yep. Always give it a clean and a grease. Yeah, understood. Um, so one more thing before I make it all greasy sure. is when you de-rig the glider normally, you'll de-rig it with the air brakes unlocked. So this is your air brake push shot here. If we were going to put it in the trailer, instead of taping that so that it doesn't come over open in the mm -hmm. open in the oh, wind, yes, all we do is, is just pull that, and, and, and you hear in. the lock. So yeah, nice. um, once again, good practice before you rig the glider yep. is to, to unlock the air brakes. Yep. So, um, yeah, so a bit of grease on the on the lift pins. Yeah, um, on the hotelier balls, like what we did before. Um, so we've got the lift pins at the root rib and then on the end of the spars we have the spigot pins so a bit of grease on them too mm -hmm. and they of course engage into the opposing oh, bearings right. so so when we put the wings on and i'll just do down here so same as the fuselage just a little bit of grease on the water ballast yep. and then the front lift pin and this uh, grease is done every six months. Um, only, only on, only on the the hotel. Oh, yeah, right. So you balls. don't actually have to de-rig the no, aircraft. No, not at all. So, so yeah. yeah, when that six months <clears throat> comes or fifty hours, yeah. all we want to do is take, take the safety yeah. clip off, unclip that, clean yeah, grease, grease, clip clean back on, and, and then an independent control check from someone course, else yeah. because we've broken yeah, broken that, the control so, circuit. Yeah, so. yeah, right to that. Yep. Okay. The same as. As, as the wings basically so these uh, the bearings like on the fuselage so we give them a, a clean and the one up front here and then um, with the hotelier ball just deflect the elevator back you can get at good access to the ball give it a good clean and then same as everything else, just a, a bit of grease yeah. on all the, all the bits. Yeah. There we go.